This afternoon we're taking a look at a 2013 Ford F-150 XLT uh, two-wheel drive 5.0 that we traded for recently. Um, we're just going to go around it like we normally do. Um, and if you got any questions, I try to have everything lined out here so you don't have to ask any questions. But we're going to start out from the front. The, re the reason that it's priced the way it is, uh, the, the, the things that need to be fixed on the outside or you can just drive the way it is, and then the engine. Uh, it has is actually running right now so you can hear it uh there's some damage here on the front bumper both headlights have got a little bit of haze on it chrome's in good shape hood's in good shape uh matching tires and wheels all the way around uh, does probably need a set of tires on it, to be honest with you discoveries uh 18 inch chrome wheels fender good shape mirror no damages the uh windshield does have a, a chip and a crack right out on the driver's side top no damages up on it uh, there is a push down here on the lower portion of the bottom of the uh, passenger door uh, and then the bedside really in good shape on the bedside back tires uh, that back tire actually is pretty deep right there probably a little over half tread on it the bridgestone I said matching apologize on that they aren't matching that's a bridgestone there uh, inside uh, light stain on the seat right there but nothing major uh, really inside of it is really in a really great shape to be honest with you. Sliding back glass, uh, rear defrost, non-smoker. It's not burned up and chewed up or anything like that. Uh, it's not broke down or anything like that on the um, armrest. Uh, that door handle, as you can see, is broken right there. Uh, but nothing major on the inside besides that. Uh, it does have a uh, roll-up bed cover. And the back bumper does have some damage to it right there. Backup sensors. Uh, bed liner. Hooks, toe down hook, or tie down hooks on the seat side. And tail light. Got a few light scratches on, nothing major. Uh, this bedside, really in good shape. Uh, a couple dings on the lower portion of the door right there. And light scuff, as you can see. Uh, no no rust on the truck it's really you got a little bit of surface rust you know of course you're going to have on your uh components like your bare metal components but no uh, no rust or anything like that underneath it and then uh put it the wheel and like i said you need a front tire on that too uh, a couple dents right there by the door handle and this happens sometimes the uh, polarization on the mirror has went bad, so it kind of shows like a bronzy gold look. A uh, little wear spot there on the uh, pa driver's side back floorboard, and then there's a small crack on the uh, uh, trim bezel there. Like I said, it, it does run and drive. It does have a slight misfire in it. That's the reason the check engine light's on. But... I mean, you can hear it. It does run and drive. Uh, the check engine light uh, with the misfire. Uh, we've checked the plugs. It's not the plugs. We're, we're behind in the shop. And to be honest with you, it's just easier for us to just try to sell it as is, give somebody a good deal, and they can try to do uh, any kind of repairs that needs to be done to it down the road. So uh, th once again, that's the reason that we've got it marked the way that we do. Sink, got your USB port, your input jack built-in trailer brake from the factory and it does have the owner's manual still with it it's got the uh, 4.2 screen and the rear view camera is built into the mirror overhead consoles both of them actually work and the vanity works and it's not broken and the vanity is good over there on that side too Steering wheel's not all chewed up. It really is 80, uh, 80,867 miles. It really is in good shape. Uh, like I said, it's only because uh, it does have a check engine light. It is a misfire in it. It's not the plugs. We already checked it. Uh, like I said, that's why we got priced the way we do between that and the few things it needs on the outside. So um, if you got any questions that doesn't pertain to what I've just went over, let us know. But uh, thank you very much.